good. That's it. Does that make sense about the how that can develop the engagement from behind in such a way that it allows you then to release the contact without feeling like you're going to lose it? Yeah. Seat players is quite a good one, things like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. <coughs> each time, particularly on the increase, each time you ride the half halt to increase, you get more engagement off the left hind. So actually, it's the half halt. Yeah. So the quality of your half halt is better. Because she gave it to you that time on the de decrease as well. Now, where you would now introduce it a little bit more is you give the half halt and you start the change of direction. Yeah. Now see if you can give it as you travel along that line. And that's quite a common place, isn't it? As just yeah. as you approach the track, there's just that little sort of soporific effect. I'm getting close to the wall. Yeah. yeah. Catch her before she does it. Now. Yeah, good. Okay. <clears throat> Take that, exactly that feel, and increase it until you're going large, and then change the range. Again, there. So you're very wary on the straight line that she doesn't end up, you felt what she did, she tried to take your seat off the yeah. central and put you onto your left seat bone. And then when you're ready, come back onto the shape and we'll do the spiral again. Yeah. Now with, yeah, that's it. That little vibration with your wrist, equal wrist to start with. There, now. The next one, just before you ask, wriggle your seat, literally wriggle your seat bones just before you ask. Yeah. And again, no. That's it. <laughs> was easier off the right rein, wasn't it? Yeah. See you, Andrew. Yeah, take care. You're good. Don't know when, but I'll see you in the summer, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So if that's the case, just before you, well, while you're on the circle, yeah. just become a little bit aware of the outside hind leg. So just before you go, that's it, you're straight enough. There you are. That eliminates the cheat of letting her slide outwards to give you canter. Yeah.
Good. Yeah, yeah, there you go. And then that half, that quality of half halt again. And the outside hind leg just stays with you. Doesn't push backwards, it stays with you as you give the half halt. There. We've got a bit of jump in the canter. Yeah. <laughs> Outside. There, got it. Yeah, good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Jump. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Not quite the jump I was expecting. There, and then she can take it out. Yeah. And when you stop her, you stop her on the outside hind. Oh, well done. Yeah. yeah. Left hind. Well done. Oh, good, well done. Yeah, again. One more definite ask, right hind. Now. Got it, that's the one. Her response then was dramatically better than the one you had before. What she did that time was she jumped it up within the rhythm rather than jumped it back to break the rhythm, which is what she did the last time. That tells you you've got a really true degree of roundness. That's good. Little vibration. Now, very, very gently, actually, just come back to trot. Yeah, and then a walk for a moment. Okay, uh, just to hold that very, very gently in that canter, and we'll come back to the trot with it. It's almost there, but what she was doing then to help herself was she had taken she taken the neck here. Yeah. So you have bent, you have the head. Yeah. Right, so she was she lost a lot of the connection. I like the reaction though, yeah. because you had her and you touched and she went up and kept the rhythm. Yeah, it when, really went. Back. Yeah, the last time you did it, she went <laughs> like that yeah. and went backwards. So I'm happy with that. This is going to be... You straighten her there, yep. and then the flexion you create. Seriously, but not yeah, so Yeah, the flexion you create is literally just the pole. Yep. So you want her to, because that affects the travel of energy because she's blocking out the yeah. So she has to compensate by making that diagonal bigger. So that's bigger. actually where the physio found she was tight was over the top. Where she blocks it, and, yeah. And I think what she does is... Good, there. <laughs> Would that be maybe because the outside hind leg had to do some work? <laughs> yeah, I think so. It might also be because the right bent it further to the left. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There we are. Yeah. 
much better than the hand. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. A little bit pull to the right again now, or the neck to the right again now. And then attempt the spiral. Ah, oh, good, 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 good. Let's attempt the spiral now. Outside hind, little touch. <laughs> well done. And oh, good, good, good. That's nice. And now let it take it out. You got it. That's okay. Correct it. Now just check your seat bones and the line of travel. There. Got it. And the transition when you're ready from the outside hind. That's okay. I don't mind that. Because what she tried to do was you could see her going balance, balance, yeah. balance, and couldn't quite break the head. Yeah. So she just needs another transition and another one back down when you're ready. Yeah. That little vibration and check the line of travel because she's now going to tell you off and throw you about on the line of travel. So seat either side. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Good. Hold. Now, very gently in the trot, let her take the neck down. Keep the, rat the same degree of roundness and just be wary that she doesn't go for speed. She goes for real roundness and that nose. There. And the neck stays in, in between the two front legs so she doesn't block her diagonal out. A little bit rounder. There. A little bit rounder. Check the line of travel. There, that's the one. A little bit rounder. Half a degree slower and rounder at the same time. And now release the hand, but not the leg, not the rein. There. Keep that degree of slowness and make her half a degree rounder now. And as you do, from the wrist, soften. Don't drop, but just soften. There. Again, half a degree rounder. Good. Soften. And now, there you go. Then, there, do you feel that? Yeah. What that's done is that has given you a proper stretch all the way along the top of her body like that and then if you want more expression you click rather than put your leg on because if you put your leg on she goes whoop, like that and she goes flat so click or touch her with the whip which is you achieve the same thing from the hind leg that you just had in the canter then so she's half a degree rounder slower Soften and touch. And you touch at the soft bit. Yeah, yeah. And again, you're slightly off the line of travel. There you are. Touch. With the whip. There. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. That's it. One more. The vibration with the wrist. <laughs> there we go and touch now now that's it do you feel that yeah. 
that rides her off the rain. Good. There we are. You'll know this from your jumping as well. You can hear her breathing. Yeah. Her breathing has changed. She's loose in the jaw and loose in the throat. Yeah. So you're getting that noise coming through. Okay, and then in that frame back to walk. 